All right, live. Uh, good morning. It is 11.34 a.m. on Monday, April 29th, 2019. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So, uh, jet lag, man. Whoa. Okay, when I went to bed last night, I literally was thinking, gosh, I'm handling it pretty well this time uh, because I managed to you know, it was after Saturday night, I slept at approximately the right times, and then I was going to bed at approximately the right time on Sunday night, and I set an alarm to get up at the approximately right time this morning, and apparently, I just slept right through it, and the alarm that I use when I'm at home is a clock radio that turns on the radio and plays for an hour, which means that I... You know, and I don't even, I don't remember like coming briefly awake and then going back to sleep or anything. I do not just remember it at all. So I apparently just slept through an entire hour of the radio playing. <sighs> and I am like, and as I actually did come awake and I only got up because my assumption was, oh, it must still be before, like I set my alarm for 8 a.m., and so the sun was going to come up before that. And so when I saw that there was light in the room, I was thinking, oh, it must be like seven. And But I need to pee, so I guess I'll go ahead and get up and see if I have time left before the alarm. But no, it was, you know, past 11. So, eh. yeah, so I am like still super jet lagged right now because even after just sleeping for 11 hours... <laughs> I am still super tired right now um, or feeling super spacey. In fact, I'm probably going to go ahead and say uh, I, I'm not at work today. I'm, I need to take another day to, to recover. I'm not up for this, um, <clears throat> which is partly predictable. I thought I might need to do that, but, ugh. Um, but also on top of that, uh, on top of the jet lag, I am also kind of still uh, reeling like a lot of people on the internet. Uh, and, in the, and again, like I said in the title, I'm not going to spoil either of these things, but Avengers Endgame and Game of Thrones both had, you know, like big exhausting battle sequences with lots of emotional impact. Yeah, so I'm not going to spoil any details about what happens in either, except that I think everybody, it's not really a spoiler to say that in Avengers, a big battle happens, and in Game of Thrones, a big battle happens. So that's really all I need to say about it, but just to say that, like, to the extent that you are invested in either of those two universes, it was a big deal this week, so... I am invested in both, and it was a big deal, and so... Gosh, <laughs> I, uh, I, so I'm just kind of still reeling with all of that. And of course, that's on top of the jet lag. So I am in a very disoriented brain space right now. Uh, I'm just not operating anywhere near 100% mental capacity. Yeah, just not even, not even close. I am very spacey right now. But, you know, uh, having to adjust to the jet lag is a, a known hazard of traveling. You know, less than 48 hours ago, I was on the other side of the planet. I think it makes sense that you need some time to adjust for that, you know. Um, but uh, coming back to Boston and having, uh, you know, having all trees on, uh, leaves on all the trees now, which happened, you know, while I was away, uh, that's, it's, you know, it's nice. Spring has sprung to use a playful but common uh, aph aphorism. So now I have to just decide that, uh, uh, you know, even if I'm deciding today is calling in sick as a recovery day, um, what do I do? Because what I really feel like I want to do is go back to bed, but that is certainly not going to help me continue to adjust to the time change. 
so I guess what I probably need to do is have some caffeine. Maybe go for a walk out in the sunlight. Help my body to uh, adjust. Yeah, I think that's probably what I will be doing. So uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. And I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes. Hopefully I will be slightly more recovered by then.